Today, I have the absolute pleasure of talking to Jenny, one of the co-authors in I Said Yes, and I'm curious to hear about what she wants to reveal, a little bit about her chapter in the book. Now, I have had the privilege of reading the manuscript when she submitted it to me, and it is a very powerful, moving, gets you thinking on a deeper level when you read the chapter. But look, I don't want you to take my word for it. I want you, as a listener and a potential reader, I want you to get your hands on a copy and read the book. But let's get into asking Jenny some interesting questions about her contribution and what we can expect from her chapter. So Jenny, welcome. I'm so privileged to have you a part of I Said Yes, which is launching very soon in Melbourne. Tell us a little bit about what a listener and a reader can expect from your chapter. Well, I'm hoping, I'm hoping with my chapter, and first of all, I want to say thank you, uh, Samantha. Thanks for connecting and I'm excited to be part of this amazing project and to be uh, rubbing shoulders with amazing women also because I think in a book like this it takes a lot of courage to reveal what we say yes to. Um, so really what I want to do is in my chapter I've tried to be as real and raw as possible um, because I'm really a big advocate for women learning to get out of the headlock and to really own their feelings um, and that way the feelings don't become a block for them, they actually become a, a driver, which is really good. So in the chapter, I've revealed a little bit about myself, uh, a little bit about probably my biggest driver uh, was my own uh, journey with um, being not, just having some learning challenges as a child and how fearful that was to not be an academic person but to be a very creative person in an academic world when I was younger. Um, and I've revealed a little that my, one of my sons has had uh, very similar learning difficulties to me and it was my journey with him where I had to suddenly really step out of my fear uh, to be a guiding light for him. So I've revealed a little bit about that in the book. I've talked a little bit about uh, some of the courageous things I've, I've said yes to, that um, if my younger self was speaking to you, she would be just absolutely going, oh my goodness, I can't imagine that I ever did any of the things that I've done sort of in my 40s onwards. Uh, so I reveal a little bit about that and, yeah, just um, talk, I hope my chapter really encourages women to get into their bodies, to feel the fear, to make it their friend and to just kind of push your edge out a little bit sometimes. Because I know every time, I, I mean, I pushed my edge out when I said yes to you. So I know that every time I push my edge out a little bit, um, while it's clunky and uncomfortable, there is always that moment where it just starts to feel comfortable and I go, oh my goodness, why was I even fearful? Yeah, definitely. And that is a great way to summarise without giving too much away because your chapter, yeah. um, your chapter really takes um, the reader on a journey to really um, dig deep, as you said, tap into those feelings and really get you thinking on a whole new level, which is great. And then that leads me on to my next question, Jenny to ask you, you know, when I approached you about the concept of I said yes, and then I said to you, this is what we're trying to do, this is the big picture, you said yes. I'm curious to hear, you know, what was that feeling like um, from the journey from after you said yes and yeah, I'm coming on board, I'm going to write this chapter. What has the journey been like for you um, in terms of an experience of saying yes to sharing this story? Well, my, my initial, um, because I think you contacted me when I was in India doing my Ayurvedic experience, which was right out of my comfort zone, um, you know, resetting my health and, and, you know, getting really great gut health. And I think I was on such a high that when you contacted me, it was like, yay, I'll do that. And then as I was coming home on the plane, all my insecurities came in around, oh, my God, I'm not a writer. I'm this learning disability person. And I could really feel, actually, it was more of a fear happening in here 
And so I made sure when I came home that I really got grounded. I came home, you know, into my belly and, you know, I just decided to really feel the fear. And it's been there through the whole process. I'm not going to pretend it hasn't. But every step of the way I've gone, oh, I'm just so grateful that you asked me. And you've, it's kind of, in a way, you're helping me to step up. I see you as a bit of an edge for me. So it's like I've had to, you've stretched my edge. I said yes. Um, and as the weeks have gone on, it's just got yummier and yummier, actually, because I'm actually very excited now. I can't wait for the book launch. Beautiful. Well, that being said, takes me to my very last question in this interview. Um, you've said yes to obviously a lot of things in your life, whether that's in business, in your personal life, um, and in different, you know, with your health and well-being, in relationships with clients, and in your personal life with your children, wow. your partner. It's been all, you know, saying yes. And then, you know, obviously there are challenges, there are learning experiences, there are opportunities that come from saying yes. So Absolutely. I'm going to challenge you one last time before, you know, the, the live book launch here in Melbourne and ask you if you were to summarize what saying yes has meant to you, whether that's a feeling, whether that's an emotion, whether that has been an experience, is there one word that you can sort of put your finger and go, well, it's that word that has sort of, you know, played its part through all the different experiences. Is there one word you could share with our listeners and readers? Hmm. So I'm just going to feel into it a little bit into my body because, you know, my head's got a whole lot of words. I think really, I know it's hard to get it into one word, but the words that pop into my body are that I feel liberated and, and I feel quite an embodied sense of freedom. Uh, and I feel like it's a uh, stepping up. Wow, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate your time and really giving us a little bit of insight to your, you know, your, in your personal space where you talk us through this interview and share some insights. Looking forward to celebrating with you in just over two weeks as it officially launches here in Melbourne. Thank you so much for being a part of the project, for, you know, feeling the fear and doing it anyway, and for all your wisdom and support throughout this program. So thank you, Jenny. And thanks, Samantha. And, and thanks for asking me. And thanks for stretching my comfort zone. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll chat to you soon. Bye. Bye.